Hey, what's up guys? Gordon Briley here and I want to go over our platform system and just kind of share what comes with it, uh, what's so great about it, and then how to actually utilize it. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the actual platform. Uh, this part is super, super cool. So uh, one of the whole premises behind our business was to not just make awesome products with multi-purpose designs, but also I wanted to address the shipping portion of it because all too often that's what stops people from buying a lot of products because sometimes the shipping rate can be equal to what the product even is. So no one's gonna go for that. So I wanted something that was gonna work well, look really cool, um, and then also be really lightweight. So I started researching technology and found a center cord that's really lightweight uh, this entire thing weighs 26 pounds. You can literally pick it up with one hand. So shipping is going to be cheaper. Uh, moving it around is it's absolutely easy. So everything about it is really cool. It has a load rating of 25 pounds per square inch. And that's actually before the, the actual top is put on it. So uh, as far as compression load, you're not going to have any issues with that. You wouldn't want to drop weights directly on it. But as far as being compressed into it, that will never, ever be an issue. Um, so the lightweight part of it's really cool. And then after that, uh, the part that I love is, again, I love having something that's really utilitarian. So we designed the real system that you see on the rack, uh, different portions of it. But this one is going to house the platform within it. And it allows you to move this platform. So if you want to just set it here, and actually I'll just show you. So again, super light platform. Just light right in here. Slide it in. So it fits right in here. But what you can do is depend it on uh, what type of lifts you're doing and where you want it, you can just move it around within the rack, um, depending on if you have a large rack, mid rack, you can push it all the way in and work on it over there. You can move these bars, this back rail, if you want to have it, let's say half and half, you can actually move this, butt it right to there and have it farther into the rack, but still have it encapsulated. So just a lot of modifications that you can make to it. You can move it all the way to the back side, tighten it down and just have it permanently right off the front of the rack. But the really cool part is some of the attachments that we've made for it. Um, generally, I mean, that's kind of the whole reason for having the platform elevated. You can have the rubber and then being able to utilize this um, rail system. So we have attachment pieces where you can hook the bands up to, and I'll demonstrate that. So this, uh, since the bands are pretty tough, what you'll do is kind of find out where you generally um, like to have your bands. So if you're stepping back here for a chest press or squat, you'll just leave it there and just tighten it down with the wrench and then then it'll never move. You can really tension those bands um, and you can actually connect right through them. And then also we have this secondary accessory where you can quickly slide it and have a lot of different attachment points, which is really, really cool. And I'll demonstrate that again in a little bit. Um, but so having this utilitarian multi-purpose platform that's lightweight and um, with these wooden platforms, again, they're super expensive to ship. Um, they're really heavy, uh, just in general, like moving them is not really usually an option. They're not a good option anyway. So we're just kind of addressing all these little points. Um, it's available in black or white, and then you can also customize it as far as size goes up to uh, 96 inches. So depending on capabilities of the shippers, will kind of determine what, what uh, size we can do. Uh, if you're local, you can do any size because you can just pick it up and we don't have to worry about the shipping. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate rather than trying to explain it. So, here we go. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is go over some of the different ways to attach uh, things like bands to the bar and create a new type of stimulus that most people aren't familiar with. Uh, it's not always easy hooking up bands, uh, let's say for a squat or a bench press. Often you gotta hook it to a heavy dumbbell and it's super awkward. Um, you can get by, but it's not always easy. So what we did is with this rail system, with these quick moving parts, these uh, attachment accessories, we're able to change the resistance of the band uh, very quickly so we're not fooling around with a bunch of stuff and you can keep your workout flowing. And I'm gonna actually demonstrate how this works. Uh, before I do that, a lot of people right now with the whole COVID thing and, and a lot of the price gouging um, and difficulty even to obtain things like weights, bands are generally pretty easy to get a hold of. We actually sell these, a couple different types of bands, but this type goes from 15 to 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 pounds. So we have a lot of variance in our actual resistance. So how difficult it is to um, stretch, essentially. So you can create resistance through changing the band itself, or what you can do is change how you actually connect to the bar, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you one way and then show you a, different, a couple different ways that you can do it. So the first, this accessory, this ring accessory, it's really easy to connect to. Next, I'm going to pull this, wrap the bar, just come back around and reconnect it to that ring. Really simple. I always will pull this and make sure to feel the tension on both sides, make sure it's centered. Do the same thing on the other side, attach. I already have this one on here. Get it centered. That band is only a 20 pound band, but it feels nearly like lifting 135 pounds, maybe slightly less than that. Uh, but it's a completely different stimulus. And again, that's what a lot of people need is to change the stimulus. So sometimes you can add plates with the resistance band and you're gonna get that change. So when I've been training people with some of the bands, it's, it's interesting to see that often they'll start sweating profusely right off the bat too. And it's clear that their nervous system is not used to this type of stress. And that's the beauty of it is you're changing that stress and creating that stress response in a completely different way. And it just happens to be affordable and pretty unique with this system. So now I'm going to show you a different way to change up the resistance quickly. So let's say that was a little too easy. All we have to do is take one of the ends off, grab it. I like to pull the band, gather some of that resistance, pull it through, and we can quick connect to this other portion. You wanna move it, take it, slide it, and now, it's even more difficult. You'll just feed this through, get it re-centered, and now that band is gonna feel completely different. It's gonna be more difficult, and that's a kind of a quick adjust, and once you get familiar with the band tension and how to adjust them, you can move really quickly between your sets. So that's one of the great things about this, and that's why I call it utilitarian, is because it does so many things and it has so many options and so many ways to connect um, to kind of diversify the way that you lift. And in the end, that's what it's all about and that's why we created this company. So this is just kind of a brief overview, give you an idea of what this is actually capable, um, some of the ways to connect, some of the accessories, the ring accessory, um, there's gonna be a hexagon accessory not quite finished yet. Some of these attachments, uh, the rails come with the platform. So you get the platform and the rails and the hardware. Um, you can get the rings separately and you can also get these uh, quick 
quick move uh, eye hooks as an accessory. So you just look in the accessory store. Um, so besides that, uh, the rubber that you see that goes on the outside of the rail for your weights to sit on, uh, we do not sell those, but I would highly suggest going to Titan Fitness and getting the two by two rubber squares I don't think anyone can beat their pricing, so I'm not even gonna try. I would just refer that you go there, pick a couple of these up, whether it be two on each side or three on each side, however you wanna do it, but uh, that's how I outfit my gym or suggest to you know just go to them for the rubber part of it. But uh, for now, this is a glimpse into our platform system. So thanks for watching, guys.